Creative Liberty Podcast. I'm your host, Major Chisholm. <laughs> and my co-host here at 3 a.m. is my daughter. We call this Conversations with My Daughter. How you doing, sweetie? So we're just, uh... Just feeding and burping and changing diapers about every three hours. Hi. Do you want to say hi? Can you say hi? Yeah. What is this? And we're being very quiet because mommy has to sleep. So that's why there's not a huge jamming intro. And someone has the hiccups. Hi. Oh, big, big yawn, big yawn. Well... Um, In some of my podcasts previously, I've mentioned that my wife and I have been going through the adoption process, and well, here we are. I have an infant, a newborn. She is 22 days old today, right? Is that right? She is. And say hi. We'll say hi. So I thought I would just uh, have a couple of conversations with her and see how she's doing through all this. 22 days fresh in the world. Yeah. Let's see here. Um, So, sweetheart, uh, today is July 20th. She was born on the 29th of June. And uh, let's see. What's going on in, uh, in your world where you were? You were born into you're born into a pandemic, yeah. A global pandemic, not 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 a bad not a bad way to come into the world. Um, currently, she's having a little bit of hiccups. She has slept off her milk coma, so she's wide awake now. You hear that? Yeah. Um, the president of the United States is a man named Donald J. Trump. You'll probably learn about him in your history books. Oh, she's got a big yawn. She's doing well. She's smiling, which uh, surprises some people. She's smiling and giggling. She's smiling at me right now. Uh, And and some people said that might be gas, but I don't think so. She smiles at her mommy, smiles at her daddy. And uh, I'm not videotaping this just because it's three in the morning. That's a lot of extra work. So I was uh, going to ask her some questions. So, uh, So tell me. Uh, who do you think is going to win the presidential primary uh, in November? Really? Huh. I don't. I don't think. Uh, I think a lot of people will be surprised by that. Yeah. Okay. Um, what's What's your favorite color right now? Yeah. What? It's black and white. It's black and white. Who's your who's your favorite fur friend? Okay, yeah, that's an easy one. Bosco. Yeah. What do you want to grow up and be when you get older? Huh? Oh. She said kind and loving. Oh, oh, oh there's some more. Um And you want to be a mommy too? That's cool. Yeah. Of course, you can't get married till you're 35. <laughs> Every dad's joke. Uh, no, you can get married to a fantastic guy when as soon as you meet him. He's got to go through mom and I first, but as long as he's fantastic and 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 loves you more than he loves himself, and 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 treats you kindly. My wife and I wish we had met years earlier. But. What? Yeah? Whoa. Oh, big stretch. Big stretch. Big gun. Do you want your passy? Yeah. Yeah. Another big smile. Let me see. There you go. It's hard for her to talk with her passy in, but we'll try. Because sometimes she kicks it out. 
takes it out, not really kicks it out. She's not reaching her feet yet. She does like the passy. So, uh, what's going on in the news on July 20th? Let's just see here. There's been some protests. There's been some riots. Kanye West, you might know him as you grow up as a rapper. Um, Or he might be uh, the president in a few years. We'll see. But he's running for president. What else is going on? Um, You know, I wonder if social media will be a thing when you're in your teens. Um, There's some wonderful advancements in technology. Elon Musk. He's he's kind of our Tony Stark. Yeah. Do you have questions for me? What would you like to say? What would you like to say? Um, Okay. Yeah. Okay. So she wants to know um, if there are any other newborns out there that are doing podcasts. And, and if so, where can she find them? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Tell them your full name. Close. No. It's, it's kind of hard to say your full name when you're uh, midway through a stretch and a yawn. So. Um, but anyway... I just wanted to uh, introduce you guys to my daughter. We're going to keep her name off the, we're going to keep her face off the socials. Uh, we're going to see if we can have a social free baby. Maybe when she's ready to put her face on the socials. You know, I have an interesting theory, sweetheart, is that if they can take our pictures now and make us look old, I wonder if they can take your baby picture with the AI technology and show us what you will look like in the future with all the the advancements in the deep fakes and stuff. That would be cool because then we could just watch and see if she actually turned into that. Right. Yeah. You know, we will, uh, I will actually definitely do a dedicate a different podcast to, um, telling her story at some point, but right now we're just overjoyed and enjoying it. And I might, might do these from time to time, just these, 3 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., depending on when she eats last, every three hours, you know. Um, Usually when I'm up, if I wake up, I'm up for four or five hours anyway, so I just wait till the next feeding, and then feeding and changing and burping and all that stuff, so. Well, yeah, (laughs) is that right? Yeah, you're waiting. You want mommy to get up? We're both wide awake. Well, we need to let mommy sleep. Yeah. We need to let mommy sleep. She is a happy, happy, happy little baby. Happy and healthy. Big eyes. We don't know if they're going to be blue or green or hazel. Birth parents have green and hazel. My wife and I have green and hazel. Not that we contributed anything, but she kind of looks like us. It's weird. Don't you? Yeah. (gasps) Yeah. She's been gardening with mom. Um, what else? She's been on long walks with Bosco and mom and dad and yeah. Yeah. She's my, she's my, she's my favorite new thing. I don't think I've stopped smiling since we came home. And, um, I mean, my wife's my favorite new thing. Always will be. She's my second favorite new thing. The beard is coming back. Not in full force but she's enamored with touching it. She said she likes it. I would put her on a dedicated microphone, but she would just wiggle right off the table, so I should probably hold her. Ooh, what? Oh, she wants her own podcasting chair and and headphones. I could put her in like a bombo or something and put some headphones on her. Would you like that? Yeah? Can you yawn? Yeah, that was a good one. You ready to go lay down? You want to go lay down? Let's get some sleep. (laughs) 
All right, guys. Uh, conversations with my daughter. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk sports. We'll talk everything. Um, you know, sports really isn't getting up and going yet. Right. Just a lot of eating, sleeping, and pooping in her world. Sounds a lot like me in the summertime. Well, if y'all have questions uh, for my daughter and I, please let us know. And uh, we'll get back to you. Leave them in the comments down below. That's what everybody said. Leave them in the comments down. I don't know where on a podcast you leave comments, but. Oh. Okay. 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 <laughs> yeah. That's the passy. Just like on The Simpsons. She also, uh, she hasn't been to church yet. Of course, churches aren't meeting back up, but uh, she's waiting. She can't wait to meet all the other kids in church. All the other newborns. I think that's probably where she's going to find her newborns that are doing podcasts. Probably at church. But yeah, here we are. Very little sleep. Running on, running on baby energy. Running on just the euphoria of taking care of this little girl. Raise her like a little warrior. Fearless. Yep. She'll attack hell with a water bucket. And then she'll come and hug her daddy. And her mom. And Bosco. <laughs> She's already gripping her passy. Uh, she'll put her hand up and hold it in her mouth. She's a strong little girl. She almost turned herself over uh, in her crib the other night. Or bassinet. By the way, I just want to take a second and say... What? Okay. Yeah. I'll mention them too. Thank you. Um, first of all, all the nurses at uh, St. Francis Hospital, she wanted to say thank you. Um, she really misses you guys. Y'all took great care of her uh, when we had to step away and get some rest. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, she wanted to do a little shout out to you guys. And uh, for everyone who's donated to our GoFundMe campaign and walked with us through this two-year journey and has uh, donated time and resources and extra baby stuff and dressers and changing tables and I had a friend uh, text me and said hey do you have do you need this and I was like I think we got two of them because I was asking Shanna at the time and they were saying no do, what about this do you need this and I was like uh we got two of those too <laughs> it went on like three or four different little items they were like do you need this do you need this? and it was like uh we got two of those so we're set on the things I think that we need. And we don't want to get a ton, a ton of things. Like we don't want all the baby stuff. Um, but yeah, um, we're very blessed to have a community around us that has loved us well and walked with us and cheered us on. And and I'm still in awe that, <laughs> that we got to bring this little girl home. They just signed some papers and, I white knuckled it up 25s and probably the other than that and, and uh, driving up Trail Ridge Road. Trail Ridge Road was probably scarier, but, um, you know, you drive up Trail Ridge Road your first time. Um, yeah, for me, I was white knuckling it. Uh, but yeah, coming back from the hospital, I'm like doing the speed limit in the right lane. People can go around me. Got a baby in the back. Did you know that the hospital we stayed in, I don't know if most hospitals are like this, they do not sell baby on board stickers. you think they would sell those things like hotcakes? Especially for like new fathers. Hey, you need to put this on your truck. Baby on board. Nobody will make a team with it or slow down and go around you. So anyway. Well, that's going to conclude this episode of uh, the Creative Liberty Podcast, Conversations with My Daughter. Um, yeah, so, all right, let's see if we can have her, I mean, you know me, I would, I would show her face everywhere if I could, it's beautiful, but, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna keep her off the social medias, but hopefully social media won't be a thing, hopefully people just get back on their front porches and talk to their neighbors, 
Yeah, I miss that. Actually, I don't. I, I talk to my neighbors all the time. <laughs> I don't miss it at all, but I think some people, it's just, just a simpler way of life. All right, we're going to get off here. I need to go put this little girl down, and uh, yeah, more to come with this little girl. Her eyes are kind of dark gray, dark blue, so yeah. All right, you want to you wanna hit that button, roll that intro, sweet? Here we go. Oh, got to turn that volume up. Nope, the wrong button. Wrong button. Nope, nope, wrong. Not that one either. Oh, wait, nope. There you go. Let's keep it down so mom can't hear anything. She needs her beauty sleep. She just needs sleep. We all do. Guys, thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Conversations with My Daughter, the Creative Liberty Podcast. What's that? You want to say something else? She says, good night, everyone, or good morning. She's not sure. And at this point, neither am I. We're so, I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> That's where we are in this two weeks of having our own. Don't even know what day it is. All right. Yep. Say goodbye. All right. We're out of here. Y'all have a great time. We'll see you soon or listen to you soon. Talk to you soon. You know what I mean. Love y'all. Be safe. I gotta go put this little girl down. And goodbye.